All right, I gotta move fast. Oh my god. TBS, it's multi vortex. Yeah. The vortex right there. You need to get out of here. Yeah, winds are really spiking right now. Okay, I'm free camming right now. These two tornadoes look like they're both a half a mile wide, and it looks like they're actually merging. Yeah, the tornadoes are merging right now. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I am back in Twisted, continuing the storm chasing series. I'm joined by Jay Kellen and Ben, and we're gonna chase some more storms. So without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so as always, Jay Killen, do you want to introduce the weather for us today? Because it is actually pretty good. Yeah, so the big thing you could probably see is we have a three day high risk. So three consecutive days that are high risk thermodynamics. And this current day for day one, it does seem we do have some kind of uh, some moist and humid thermodynamics uh, indicated by the 72 degrees dew point, which is actually pretty high. And then for precipitable water and humidity, that's pretty high as well. And what's really carrying this high risk for day one at least is the 4,300 CAPE and the 339 SRH, in which, I mean, the photograph, it does have some shear to it, it's basically kind of a, uh, I guess, a north-northeast kind of trajectory based on the hodograph. But I'd still say that there's still a pretty good chance for some strong tornadoes to happen. Yeah, so it should be a pretty active day. So let's go ahead, let's get in our vehicles and start chasing. All right, so I'll go ahead and lead the convoy this time. So uh, here we go. Now, because it's going to be moving north-northeast, I think somewhere actually in this region would be relatively okay. But... We want to go ahead and chase the storms from beginning to end. So maybe heading a little bit further south would be a good idea. Yeah, maybe somewhere towards like Prior Lake or something, uh, which is always usually a good spot because, I mean, it's near the center of the map. And it basically is in between like the two major roads that go like from west to east and north to south. So that would probably be a good area like always. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. We're going to head south on this main road over here and wait for a storm. All right, it looks like we've got a storm starting to spawn in the southwestern portion of the map. And since they're moving north-northeast, that is pretty good. Yeah, it looks like the storm is popping up. It's kind of in between Hibbing and Starbuck, kind of over the uh, the upper Three Mile Lake area. All right, let's pull over. We'll wait and see what this storm does. I'm going to continue down there. All Try right, sounds good. Storm as soon as it happens. Maybe what we want to do, Jay Killen, is go east on 41 and wait there. Yeah, either go on there or go down south to uh, maybe towards West Viroqua or at least on the interstate because that might be a little bit more east. That should be more clear of any rain so it's easier to see. Yeah, because now we're starting to get some rain here. All right, we just got out of the rain and it looks like I do see something. Ben, if you look directly up, do you see I anything? I can't see anything. That's how heavy the rain is. Actually, uh, Ben's over to the uh, west of us. He's gone. He's on Beltrami 61. Oh, I see. All right, I'm basically like directly under it. I th oh, there is ground circulation, or uh, a little bit of wind at least. All right, I'm turning so right this on may 41. actually touch down here in a little bit. Yeah, see, I'm going to see if I can go back up north on the uh, the highway. And since that should be a little bit out of the rain a little bit, so maybe I should be able to see stuff better. All right, I just pulled over. It looks like it's dropping down again. Yeah, I got a better visual. It's a pretty big funnel. All right, I think I'm going to deploy here. All right, there we go. Getting back in the truck, and I'm going to get out of here because the tornado is heading in my direction. Yeah, I can confirm it is on the ground now funnel is uh the condensation funnel is on the ground there's ground circulation and everything the tornado is crossing the road right now getting a read back of only 20 now 40 miles an hour starting to go up 70 trying to see if i could beat this thing on the highway before it crosses all right i'm just now entering the uh, outer circulation i guess where the debris cloud is kind of circulating around about to get a direct intercept here in a second hopefully i can deploy fast enough it's really booking it more oh, power flashes really going on close. It is oh a wedge boy. tornado now. Oh boy, 151 miles per hour. Holy 156. cow. Oh, oh boy, 163, I'm sliding, 167. Come on, can I deploy fast enough? I think I'm fully deployed now. 
This thing rapidly strengthened. It actually slid me a little bit before I fully deployed. All right, I'm dropping that a probe. Was really close. Head him west. Yeah, so the highest winds I got was 167 miles per hour. Wow, this thing is already super strong, and it just touched yeah, down. Yeah, it, it rapidly strengthened. Hey, Ben, are you behind the tornado, or did you just go through it? Because I see you on the map um, as right next to the icon. Yeah, he just like, passed me. Right on the edge of the tornado. I think I should be able to narrowly kind of uh, go, uh, I guess, in between it. where Because um, technically it's already past the highway now, so I yeah, should be able to just kind of go now. through it. Yeah. I drove, like, right by it a little bit ago. Yeah. Still got some strong circulation on the road, though, but the main funnel is outside of the road. I think Ben is intercepting right now. Yeah, it does look like it. He just dropped down. Yep. There's actually some strong winds, if you look at the uh, velocity. Not on the tornado, but strong storm winds. Wait, how did Kinda you see I dropped Hazleton. down? I'm actually standing at the end of the road, and I'm using cinematic mode to zoom in. I can see you. Which end? Uh, directly ahead of you. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm watching you enter the tornado. This is super cool. All right, it looks like it missed the probe again. So that is not a great start for at least me when it comes to intercepting with the uh, tornado probes. All right, I think I'm in the path of this thing. I'm basically right outside of Almora, so this thing might actually hit my Almora. This thing's about to die. However, there is a there is rotation right over Hazelton. Hey, Ben, did you get any readings when you intercepted? Uh... Not really. I don't know. They, I got like 102 max, but that might have not been accurate because I didn't really intercept it. It went just behind me. Okay. And it has an extremely small wind field. I'm going to see if I can try and... Oh, there's power flashes in Almora. About to get another intercept here. Yeah, it's not as strong on radar anymore. It's yellow TBS. But yeah, yeah, yeah it's passing uh, behind me to my west. It kind of shifted more northward. You kind of missed me. Let's see if I can go north on the uh, highway and catch that uh, that one that's heading towards Palzoid. Yeah, I guess I'll go to that one as well because um, that's the only other storm on the map right now, right? Uh, I think so. Besides this current one, but it seems like it could be weakening. Yeah, it does look like that new tornado is uh, impacting the Hazleton Lakes area. Yeah, it must be picking up a lot of debris then. It's kind of like embedded, I guess you could say, because it's kind of embedded. Yeah, there that is definitely a debris ball right there for sure. Like right over Palzoid, oh it looks God. like. Whoa. Actually, do you guys have a visual on the tornado? Uh, I kind of do. It's uh, It looks like it's a floater, but it is pretty big. I'm trying to you see it. You should see it here in a second. Yeah, it's about to go off the map, though, but it looks like it just cored Palzoid. Oh, oh, that is some um, intense hail. Yeah, I know there's a huge hail core near the tornado. Yeah, 2.9 inches according to radar. Holy cow. So about 3 inches, I'd probably say, on average. Yeah, I'm going behind the tornado. I'm going to see what the damage is like. Whoa, we've got some serious green inch right now. I see a bit of damage, but luckily it's minimal. I'm not actually at the path, but I'm about to be. Yeah, I'm worried how Palazoid's going to look, because it looks like it took a direct hit with a huge debris ball and everything. Oh, yeah, I do see some damage there. All right, the damage in Hazleton Lakes is luckily not that bad. Oh, yeah, Palazoid's got some decent damage. I mean, it's mainly uh, some heavy roof damage, like all the roofs are gone as well, similar to, I guess, what you saw in Hazleton Lakes. Uh, but, yeah, it's still pretty significant. There are some casualties, or I guess injured. All right, it looks like we do have a new storm, and luckily, we are just north of it. So if we go out of the map, yep, there it is. Now, my plan is to get on this road, see if we can see the tornado develop, and then go north, try to find another road like this one, and uh, deploy some probes. Somehow, I'm getting, like, really small hail up here, even in, like, Hazleton, which is just outside of, like, the core, which is interesting. Yeah, I just had some as well, and I am now outside of the main core of the storm. I'm going to take this gravel road, and there we go. It's dropping down. It is a tornado now. Oh, yeah, I can see it now. Kind of outside of most of the rain. Let's go ahead and drop the uh, Dorothy probe, and I got to quickly buy some more. All right, I don't have time. I got to get out of here. Winds are starting to increase. I hear a roar. Yeah, this thing's wedging out rapidly. Oh, my gosh. I can only go 30 miles an hour. Winds are going up to 50. It reached 79 as max. Are you on that road with the farm, Jay Killen? Uh, no. I'm basically just north of you. I should be like right oh, ahead are. of you. Yep. Oh, I think it's impacting that farm, or it's about to. Oh my gosh, it's tossing trees. Power flashes. Gonna drop another probe. There we go. 
All right, I gotta move fast. Oh, there's a debris ball. Oh my god. TBS, it's multi vortex. Yeah. The vortex right there. You need to get out of here. Could have went forward more, but uh, I guess I'm glad I kind of deployed more early. Yeah, even though I'm in the outside edge of it. Whoa, I just saw a vortex there for a second as I was leaving the radar hub. Not even gonna try to deploy there. Just gonna keep going north. Actually, I might actually get a really close core intercept. Yeah, winds are really spiking right now. 140 is the highest so far. Actually, 145. This thing's rapidly strengthening. Actually, 179 is the highest. 186. All right, the tornado's turned into a wedge at this point. Oh, my God. All right, I'm outside of the funnel, finally. Yeah, highest I got was 194 miles per hour. I'm deploying a TIV-2 right now. This thing is a monster tornado. I'm dropping down. Yeah, I'd say probably expect for uh, maybe 200 mile per hour winds or so. Oh my like gosh. Like I said, I got 194 on the probe. Okay, winds are going up to about 100 right now. But I'm still holding strong. I see Ben going by. There goes Ben. Yeah, there's a uh, PDS tornado warning. All right, I'm about to enter the tornado right now. 120 miles an hour. It's going all yeah, over the place. Yeah, this thing's rapidly expanding, I think. TIV-2 is intercepting this massive tornado. Oh, there's power flashes up towards uh, either Ted Strike or Jimmel. I think I just saw 130 for a moment. All right, it is red TBS now, so it might actually be weakening a bit. It is back to pink, but that should mean it's probably within the 140 range now. It looks like there's another tornado that just dropped down. Oh my gosh, that farm that was back there is gone. Holy cow. Yeah, there are two massive wedges on the ground at the same time. I'm gonna see if I can try and book it to the east and get another intercept. It's gonna be really close. I might be able to cut to this one road and go north. Okay, I'm free camming right now. These two tornadoes look like they're both a half a mile wide. And it looks like they're actually merging. Yeah, the tornadoes are merging right now. Really? Yes. I'm about to get an intercept on the uh, current one, the one that's pink TBS. I hope I deployed in time. About to enter it, and I've only gotten the uh, flaps down. Just need to get the spikes now. I should be good, I think. All right, there's still wedges, but they're starting to shrink. And one just lifted. Or, actually, I think it went multi-vortex. Yeah, there are uh, vortices all over the place. Oh, there was a vortex that popped up, like, right next to me there. Yeah, I think I just saw that one. All right, they're merging again. Is the one on the right recondensed? Yeah. Yeah, highest winds I got was 146 miles per hour on the uh, this last intercept before it went off the map. Yeah, and it looks like that one to the left is lifting or maybe just becoming a floater. All right, so this actually looks like a pretty decent storm. All right, we should be able to see something in just a minute. I do see a funnel. All right, it looks like it's reaching down to the ground now. There it is. It's on the ground. There is a debris cloud. All right, I'm going to pull over here. And let's go ahead and deploy the drone. And we can zoom in on it. There it is. Yep, definitely a drill bit tornado. All right, let's deploy here. And time to go. I'm pretty sure this tornado is going to impact this farm. It's starting to get really difficult to see. And it's gone. Okay, the tornado might be a little too close for comfort. Yeah, I think I'm going to deploy. Yep, going now. Here we go. The tornado is literally right next to me right now. Oh my gosh. All right, it's crossing the road behind me. Getting windy. I just got 166, I think. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there's a tornado emergency right now. I think that's mainly because it might be uh, really close to Prior Lake. So that's probably why. All right, this is going to be a pretty crazy shot. There's a sunset in the background, and the tornado is about to cross the road. And we'll see how this goes. Oh my gosh, this new rotation is spawning off of this tornado. Watch as I flawlessly intercept, and you've crashed. Here we go. Deployed. All right, time to get out of here. Oh my gosh, my probe got 189 mile an hour winds. And the most recent one I dropped is 133 miles an hour. So after several failed intercepts, or well, really close intercepts, this tornado was um, pretty good because uh, I got all three probes near the center of the funnel. Yeah, it's probably about to lift. Otherwise, that other one is actually starting to strengthen quite a bit. Where is it? It's uh, directly to the west of it. I'm deploying. It's okay, I'm getting TBS. debris effects. Wait a minute. Oh my gosh. I think this is the tornado right here. Uh-oh. This is not good. I just drove into it. I'm gone. Now that's why you want to make sure you check the radar. Very good point, Jay Killen. And I can still drive. Oh, there's power flashes over there. It's the, uh, I guess the first one, the one that's to the east. Well, that's interesting. There seems to be a relatively large tornado down in Prior Lake right now. Very early in the morning. Um, oh yeah, that is a uh, very strong couplet. 
Yeah. I'm gonna go down there. Just gonna check out what that is. Oh my gosh. I saw it. When I switch from the radar back, it's huge. It is a massive tornado. Oh yeah, I, I did the same thing. I saw like the two edges of it. It is massive. I'm trying to get a visual. I'm trying to see if I can race in front of it and like try and get north so I can get an intercept on it. Oh, oh god, too close, way too close. Yeah, you, you want to turn around. It is yep. like coming up towards you basically. All right, I'm deploying a probe. There we go. Trees are shaking over there. I'm hearing, I'm starting to hear the roar and I'm starting to get some of the wind. It is orange TVS, so it actually could be weakening a bit. I see you up there on that bridge. Yeah, this thing's back to pink TVS, so it is still pretty strong, I think. Oh my gosh, power flash is right behind me. Oh yeah, the winds are starting to spike a bit. So far, the highest is about 127, 137 now. Yeah, it's really spiking now. You're just about to enter the very center of the tornado. Yeah, or at least really close to it. On radar, the velocity couplet is insane. It's going into Hazleton. Luckily, it does seem to, uh, it is a little bit to the east, and it keeps fluctuating between pink and orange. So, it might not, like, it might do damage, but not, like, significant damage, hopefully. Yeah. Oh, power flashes. I do see power flashes in Hazleton right now. Uh, I got visibility now, kind of. Yeah, I saw a power flash there for a second. I'm once again parallel with the tornado. Oh my gosh, I just rolled. There's like no wind here, basically. Oh, actually, there is a little bit. Probably not going to be for much longer, though. It still has a little bit of wind to it. About 83 miles per hour is the highest so far on this next intercept. Okay, um... Prior Lake doesn't look so good. Yeah, it looks like, I think, uh, according to the path, it kind of just wiped out the i guess yep. the eastern side there are whole homes gone so yeah there we are pretty cool chase we got to see something really interesting which of course was those two wedges merging into each other for a little bit and then going off the map so if you guys have enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like and a comment and i'll see you all next time guys goodbye